Let's talk about something that's doing the rounds on social media. Reports say Iran's Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei may have transferred powers to his son. Why did he do that? Because of his declining ill health, we're told. A Twitter thread has got the world talking. On the 5th of December, a journalist from Iran made three huge claims. One, Khamenei's power and duties have been transferred to his son, Mojtaba. Two, Khamenei had to cancel a recent meeting with Iranian President Hassan Rouhani because of his poor health. And three, the Iranian Supreme Leader has prostrate cancer. The Iranian news agency has denied the claims of power transfer and Vion has not been able to independently verify them either. But here's something we can tell you. The supreme leader is the be-all and end-all of Iran. So if the claim of the Ayatollah transferring powers to his son is indeed true, then it's nothing short of a seismic change in Iran. And to understand why, we must take a look at the role of the Ayatollah in Iran and also revisit what this one, Ayatollah Ali Khamenei, has stood for. Here's a report. Iran's constitution institutionalizes rule by Islamic clerics. Khamenei is Iran's second Ayatollah. Ayatollah means the sign of God. Over the years, it has become synonymous to dictatorship in Iran. Ayatollah Ali Khamenei Ayatollah Ali Khamenei is Iran's spiritual head and has the final say in everything that happens in the country. He has made Iran the center of Shia theology and has molded the country into what it looks like today. Khamenei is against free elections and open press. He has weakened Iran's presidency invested Iran's Revolutionary Guard with all the power it has today. It was Khamenei who decided to pursue a nuclear energy program. He has always been suspicious of the West in general, and the United States in particular. In the late 90s, Khamenei blocked then-President Mohammad Khatami's push for the tent with the West. He did not oppose the 2015 nuclear deal, but criticized President Rouhani for expecting that Washington would uphold it. Mr. President, how does this make America safer? When Trump's America withdrew from the deal, three years later, the Ayatollah remarked, I said from the first day, do not trust America. Iran's deceased general Qasem Soleimani was Khamenei's close friend. He has promised severe revenge for Soleimani's assassination. Khamenei believes Israel should be eliminated. Cancerous tumor is what he calls the country. The Ayatollah also questions the reality of the Holocaust. In the past, he has issued fatwa against author Salman Rushdie. And very recently, he played down the Wuhan virus. It's not something extraordinary, the Islamic scholar said. In short, Alatoya Ali Khamenei stands for conservatism, hardline politics and the legitimization of clerical rule based on Shiite thought. Khamenei has monopolized the interpretation of the Islamic law and has committed to maintaining clerical rule in Iran, one that was ushered in by his predecessor. Iran's first Ayatollah Ruhollah Khomeini, a man known for his focus on Islamic tradition and rejection of Western ideas. Two men get the credit for making Iran one of the most powerful and unpredictable nation in its neighborhood. Your report, we own. World is one.
Thank you for watching Gravitas on Vion's YouTube channel. If you want to stay up to date with what's happening around the world, then subscribe to our channel and don't forget to like and share. Thank you very much for watching Vion. World is one.